All right, welcome. This is the Throne Room Massacre Campaign Guide. Let's start the game off with your Squire Bucket. First round is just get a bunch of blockades down. You know, don't worry too much. Spot. Swap over your Huntress. You want to throw... Throw an Inferno Trap. And up here, you want to get here as fast as you can. Get an Inferno Trap. Inferno Trap. Poison Trap. Another poison trap. After that, I pretty much run around, do what I can, try not to die. My huntress is very squishy. It's one of my less geared characters. Does plenty of damage. Just has no health. We're gonna kill as much as we can. Bear kid should hold. You know. Not, just feel free to repair him. Luckily, none of mine broke. Almost did. While well, he's wailing on that, so I just repaired it. I waste a little bit to repair it. Kill you. Okay. Now, with this downtime, put some damage into him real quick. Buys me a couple seconds to go put some traps down. He stopped hitting it for as hard as he is. Dang. Buys me a second. I'm gonna run over here. Poison trap. Inferno trap. Right about here. Poison trap. And inferno trap. Same thing here. Poison trap. Inferno trap. Now, with that, it should trigger if anything's there and hit this. Poison trap, inferno trap there. Try and get them as close to here as you can. Poison, Inferno. Swap over to your monk. Now roughly in the middle, if you have large enough range, I put in the snare and strength drain. You won't have enough for this round, but as you can tell, my traps are large enough to reach both lanes. But now we will swap to the squire, just because he has a lot more survivability. Repair what you can. Uh, luckily, she's not physical, so I can probably blow through her health real quick. I need to take care of this ogre in the helicopter ASAP. I'm not too worried about the helicopter because it'll focus me. Eventually my pet will get him. I do need to get over there. Quickly. You do have flyboys on this map. They're not too big of a deal. You know, everything comes down the same lane. This is one of the harder waves. It's because you don't have a lot down yet. You have enough to slow them down. But a lot of way, a lot of like lanes don't have the full defenses up yet. Keep going, clearing everything out, running around. 
I'll go crazy. Get as much as you can done. Got some guys stuck back here. Clear this out. Now, swap back over to the monk. Get through your ensnare. Strength drain. Now over here, ensnare, electric, strength drain. Check around, we got barricades. Everything's good, trap, trap. Trap, trap, barricade, trap, trap. Never put a wall up here. Luckily, we found out. Boom. Repair everything. Stay on the squire. Never put a trap there. Dum dum. Oh, I don't need walls here. I'm being overzealous. I'm just, ah, I'll upgrade you. I need to put my poison trap over here, which is why this wave is getting hit really hard. So instead of putting two walls there, barricades, you're gonna wanna put poison trap and an infernal trap as close to this as you can. I had one here earlier. Obviously it got broken. You know, this wave is very chaotic with how many ogres. Shark boy got through because I don't have my trap set up. You know, I'm over here holding this wave on myself as much as I can. It's not ideal. You know, whatever other wave. You know, the waves are built to handle themselves. You just come by, clean up any anything that the traps can't hit. You know? That's all Massacre is. You don't need a million damage. You just need to be able to survive. The damage will always happen. No matter what you do. And the way things are looking, I may not need to put those electric trap and all that stuff up in the middle. I might be able to get away with other things. You know, find a wave that needs more help. Throw an extra trap into it. Upgrade you. Swap over to the Huntress. Poison trap as close as I can, and then an Infernal trap. And that's 100% DU. Swap back over. Upgrade. Upgrade, upgrade. I'm going to repair and upgrade, and we'll move you back up here. Upgrade you twice, just to be sure. Repair everything. No, you don't want your traps failing in the middle of a wave. Obviously, that's detrimental. You know that already. Upgrade you. This one gets hit hard. But the point of having these traps here is if they get triggered here, the range of it is hitting her in the middle. Even though she's immune to fire, you know, she's not going to take fire damage, but watch. Those guys, it's basically a triangle. You got one there, one there, and one there. So as long as they're running down this wave, they're getting hit by fire. Even if they're immune to fire, about halfway down the wave, they'll get hit by the strength drain trap. And then it doesn't matter. You know, you got three ogres here. I'll try and get in front of them, stop them from hitting it. If you can stop them from hitting this one, the other trap is close enough that they're going to try and run to it. So watch, if I get in front of him, I can stop him for a second and redirect him. Redirect him. It only works when your traps are close enough. This is a normal ogre. Try and take care of him much faster than the other ones. Clear the wave. dragon hit the helicopter helicopters will mess you up so just be careful of that Come over here got one guy stuck up top totally fine he's up there messing around take a look at my traps a lot of my walls need upgrading and repairing so I will do that. Again, with most trap builds, you know, your traps don't take damage. They just, you know, eventually wear out. 
but the walls really get hit hard. Made it through. Upgrade all this. Upgrade, upgrade. Now this is a boss wave. Make sure everything's upgraded on that side. I'm going to upgrade the Inferno Trap here as much as I can. And then upgrade. I need, can't upgrade the wall yet, but it's about it. Throw one into this. You know. Do what I can over here to repair. Make sure everything's good to go. You know, can last a little bit by itself. So the boss wave, you're going to have to focus on the boss, and hopefully your traps can hold them off. Which is fine, you know? As before, traps, you know, they're meant to hold minions back. So they're not going to do a whole bunch of damage. Hunter's traps, depending on how your Hunter's is built, will do damage. You know? But, again, little dudes aren't really a big deal. It's all about the big boys. Now that guy is immune to physical damage, or not immune, he takes, you know, what, 90% reduced physical damage? Whatever the number is for the Siren. So I'm going to have to hover over here for a minute until I can try and clear some of this, because that really sucks. Which is fine. He's glitched out. I'm going to go run over here real quick. Clear this. as much as I can to help out because you don't want three ogres hitting your wall that will end your day you know heal in between and they also destroy your uh, strength train like look how much they took away just by sitting there and existing I upgrade that Walls are doing fine. These are doing fine. Take care of the helicopter block so I don't get killed. Clean everything up. Ogre doesn't look like much of a threat. The one ogre that took reduced damage is dead because he sat in the inferno trap long enough. Again, they don't do tons of damage up front. But over time, they'll chip away at everything. Go around, pick everything up, make sure everything's fine. Boss is coming, and this boss will mess you up. You know, repair, get everything tipped up. missed it but I'm going to upgrade this barricade all the way repair all this because the boss comes from here you're going to want to try and sit over here no depending on how much damage you have you might have to go clear a couple waves and then come back and deal with them or if you're in a party have someone play a squire and pretty much stop them in its tracks up here and have everyone else clear the waves make sure you're caught up You see his back right there? That's his weak spot. So, I'm going to sit here. And I can't really do much damage to him. You know, I'm chunking him. But you do not want him going anywhere near your traps. I'm going to sit behind him for a second. Because he'll try and fight me. Careful of the missiles. Look around the map. You know, a couple of helicopters flying in, but I think I can kill them fast enough. My traps will be able to hold out. The fact that he's over here getting hit by this trap is doing so much for me right now. See, I'll even back up a bit. Let him come up. 
you know, my walls are holding on. Okay, go back to messing with him for a bit. But you want to try and keep him here. He will screw your day up if he gets to the middle. You can move your barricades, your barricades get moved, and then the minions now get through. You know, there's helicopters around. Not too worried about it. My walls are holding on. The one over there is about half. Which is fine. You know, I've been here for about, what, a minute? A minute and a half? You know, just facing the boss by myself. Which shows you, like, 60,000 and a health is fine. And he's dead. I sell the poison trap. My infernal trap right here. 30,000 DPS for this guy. Doesn't seem like a lot, but it'll chunk him. You know, as long as you can keep him there. You know, let your dragon hit him, let your teammates hit him. You know, and depending on what hero you're playing, you'll get different gear based on this. So take that in consideration. But this it's a harder level, especially with a boss level. Um, you just want to be careful. He comes in every every single time, left left lane. You want to go over there, be prepared for him the last wave. These waves, this is overkill. Okay. The fact that we have these two traps on each side, I mean, I, most of the time I don't need these. I can just, you know, these will take care of this, that'll take care of that. I mean, it's pretty much just for spiders I get through and the uh, fly boy that'll magically pop through the wall and then comes over here. And then the fly boy's over there. But this is a pretty simple build, you know, wave three, you'll have it all built. You know, keep it nice and simple. And here we go. Before contemplate their victory and the goblin army's corrupting mechanical contraption, a loud humming is heard by each of the heroes. As if in a dream, the Grandmaster appears to each of them. She explains that they are fighting inner demons unlocked by the old one's attack from within. Should they fall through these halls, the old ones will gain a new, unstoppable form. The heroes of Etheria. In order to awake from their control, they must attain certain victory over the battles that await them. Okay. 16 minutes, 54 seconds. That's with decent gear. You know, I don't have insane gear. I have decent gear. I'm only level 97. So, about 47 million XP. It is a boss level, so you'll get more XP. 117 million gold. All this is decent. If you're able to do this, go on. It's nice and easy. Thank you for watching.